Welcome everyone, it's RP Jimmy back at you with some more WrestleQuest with Bill. Bill, do you remember what we did last time? Because I don't. <laughs> Bill? Uh, we went through the, like, the... Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, okay. Do you remember what we Sorry, did last time? I have time? candy in my mouth. Um, we went through the... Okay, time out right there. Yeah, we went through the instructions and then... Time out right there. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna kind of break a little bit here. It's 9.30 in the morning on a Saturday. Why are you eating candy? I just felt like having some Werther's. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's continue on. I, we're back here at the training ground. We rescued something, right? Didn't we? I thought we did. Oh, so this is you, if you remember. All right. So, class, yesterday we talked about how your skills on the mic can... Hold on, what was it? Can help improve, impede... Bill, are, the, you, the high your, are you not on your usual device because you can't read this? No, I am. It's just the words got a little mixed up. Oh, impact the hype meter. There we go. Even more important than that is what kind of hype type you choose. Who knows what a hype type is? Oh, well, this is you too, because remember, this is the Kenny Omega person. Oh, yeah. I do. It's a type of baby. If you say baby one. I will chug slam you. It's how you generate hype, sir. Bingo! I think a visual aid will help demonstrate this. This is a classic Paul training video I scored from a flea market last month. Okay. Now let's see what this video is. By the way, we have, we've done one episode. We have not seen who supposedly is the other main character. Greg right. Logan. You see it and hear it here? It's confident. Oh, you, you, you want to be... Who wants to be Green <laughs> Jean? I'll be Green Jean. I'll, 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 uh, let's okay. see. Uh, I don't mind telling you. Okay, I'll get in my code. Right. Welcome to Paula's official hype train training video. I'm just going to lower the volume a little bit. Don't forget to call the Paul official hotline. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Folks, I don't mind telling you, okay. There are many exciting personalities in the styles in the, of the, in the world of pro wrestling which we'll cover today. Each of these generates hype with different actions. For example, the powerhouse type, which Big Daddy Squeeze uses, builds up the crowd by dealing damage. Those with the showman type, like the magnificent Dash Talent, generate hype by taunting and flaunting. Sidekicks like Jacques Aze elicit cheers whenever they support another unit. Wily technicians pump up the crowd with their keen wrestling ability, which often inflicts status effects. Allow the ominous Grim Jim to demonstrate. <laughs> but never underestimate underdogs like Lochador, because the crowd loves it when they come back against the odds. Grim Jim. You can free you are free to choose a hype type of any of your characters. Experiment to find the ones that suit your style or strategy. Am I not going to get a hotline report? I'm afraid not. Uh, so this is them showing me. So, oh, we get to choose. All right, let's read these because this is going to be how my play style is. All right. So we have pros here. Attack generates. Let's let's see. Defeating, not pinning an enemy generates the getting critical. Cons. All gimmicks cost an additional 10 AP. Ooh. 
Okay, damage reduction reduced by 10. Okay, that's... Showman... See, the problem is... And this is I'm gonna this is gonna be a little strike against the game so far. Is I don't remember what INF is, and I don't feel like they've done a great job explaining this to me. Right. Uh, let's see, cons after turn all friendly units take fifty percent extra damage for one turn. I mean, I'm kind of not. I don't know. Like I'm. I'm uh, to be honest with you, Bill, you're. I'm. I'm gonna say this as nice as I can. It. Your opinion doesn't matter as much because I'm the one playing the actual game for this. All right, I'm done here. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Normal type. I want something that heals well. Right. You know what? I because I don't know what the uh, INF is. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I will. I, I say all that, and I'm like, you know what, Bill? Screw it. You choose because I don't know what any of this means anyway. Hmm. And I assume I can change it later, but if I can't, then uh, at least I'll have someone to blame the whole playthrough. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see. So here, go up go, to... You go yeah, let one. me see. Okay, I'll let you read it. While you read, right. I will talk about the worst, one of the biggest schemes of hotlines I've seen in recent memory. Let me know when you want me to go to the next one while you're reading. Uh, when you read to yourself. So, yeah, yeah. I was watching a few months ago some old ECW, and specifically when they're on ECW on TNN. And one of the things that they were, they have is they had a hotline too. I, Go I don't, down. I don't remember the number. I think it's like something something run for ECW. That was the that was the line. So, one of the things they hyped on there was Raven leaving WCW at the time. And I remember thinking, I'm like, alright, well, he's going to show up in ECW. And they were like, hey, call the hotline now and we'll tell you, we'll, you know, we'll basically, they're saying, we'll give you what Raven's next move is going to be. Go down. And so I'm watching the episode, and this was actually the episode that Raven returns and helps Tommy Dreamer beat the Dudleys in the Dudleys' last match to win the tag team titles. And I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, what about those people that called the hotline not even <laughs> 25 minutes ago? It's only an hour show. Go down. I think that is one of the... I don't even know the word for it, like... Like, just dirty hotline thing. Only coming... It it actually... It wound up... It's only the second... It's probably the second... No, I don't know. Maybe it's the first worst. I'll give you the other one I didn't... I, I saw in recent memory. You want me to go down or no? Yeah, go down. Alright. Uh, there was something I remember watching a few years back. An old... I want to say an old superstar show from WWE, but I don't remember exactly mm -hmm. where they, oh, sorry, um, where they pulled people of, I guess, Shawn Michaels did something and they pulled people and they're like, come on the hotline and vote. Should Shawn Michaels be reinstated or should he have to suffer the consequences? And... Wow. The the winner was that he should stay suspended. And I think he gets brought back shortly after that episode. And again, ah. I'm sitting here thinking, what was the point of other than getting money out of people for having that poll? Alright, so which one are we going with? Oh gosh, I'm 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 torn between showman and underdog. You want to, do you have a coin? You could flip it. Uh, yeah, I do have a coin. Um, you, call it, you call I'm going to trust you on this one, so go ahead. You do it so that we can move forward with this gameplay. All right. I don't know why any... By the way, I don't know why anyone would choose none. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. Okay. Heads is showman, tails is underdog. All right, go ahead. Yeah. 
Heads, showman. Okay, here it is, showman. All right, confirmed. All right, go ahead, back to the reading. This is you. Okay, oh. that's enough for now. Don't forget your essays on the poetics of pile drivers are due Monday. Poetics of pile drivers. Never taught me that. Oh, who is Tremor again? I guess I'll be What's Tremor. That? I don't yeah. remember. I, see, this is going to be the problem that we're going to have because we don't record every single day. And honestly, for these first four or five episodes, they're recorded like very far apart. For non-major characters, we're just going to forget who each one does. I can just... Forget. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I don't think Tremor's a major character. Oh, that was supposed to be Earthquake, I think we... Yeah. All right, so I'll, I'll do this one. Hey, you guys here? Paw is supposed to put on a dark match over in Boxwood. I don't remember... Dude, I think that, that may be me. Okay, go ahead. This one. Dude, no way! That's incredible! Yeah, and from what I hear, it's going to be an open event. Anyone can take part. Here's the catch. Since the event is in Boxwood, you know the BEW is going to try to get their guy into it. Mm. If BEW will be selecting a fighter, they'd have to choose their championship title holder, right? All we have to do is become the BEW champion. Then we'd have to... Then they'd have to pick us. What makes you think you can become the BEW champion? All I have to do is defeat the Gurn champion, right? Yeah, but BEW would have to work you into the storyline, and you'd have to get over more than the current champion, and... Look, hombre, all I need to do is beat the current BEW champion. Then I got, I get to be in the dark, the PAW dark match, and maybe even earn a spot in PAW. That's not much of a plan. My plan is no, my plan is no plan. I am the human torpedo. Watch out, Boxwood, here I come. <laughs> my plan is no plan. <laughs> that guy is crazy. I don't know, man. He's pretty sincere. You can tell he lives and breathes this stuff. He needs to grow up. That's not how the world works. I think his authenticity, his hope, is inspiring. Attractive, even. Who's Tabby Flynn? Maybe. You, I, guess. I guess I'll be Tabby. Maybe a dose of reality in Boxwood will open his eyes. I promise I won't fail you. Hey Randy, I'm locking up for the day. See you Monday? Actually, Mr. Stretch, do you have a minute? What's on your mind? Sir, I'm ready. Ready to enter the world of professional wrestling. Paul is putting on a dark match over in Boxwood. I plan to become the BEW champion and enter the match for a shot at the big time. I've even got my gimmick picked out. From now on, I will be the Spice himself, the South of the Border Savage, Muchacho Man, Woo-Si. <laughs> That's quite the impressive shtick, muchacho man. But it takes more than a gimmick to win in the world of professional wrestling. You've got the skills and the heart, kid. But you may not have the wisdom to navigate the tempestuous world of professional wrestling. Not without losing your soul. Ooh. <laughs> My soul? The world of profession or pro wrestling is full of larger than life heroes and terrible villains. You can say that one again. I'm not afraid, Senor Stretch, and my mind is already made up. I have to do this. 
I know it is, kid. And I know there's no stopping you. You have my blessing. But take heed. This world has a way of stomping on goodness. So be prepared to fight. But keep slamming, and greatness can be yours. Oh, see. Oh, see, huh? Wrestling quest begins. So I think maybe we just exited the tutorial. All right. Let's see where we go. Wait, why do they want me to go here? I thought I was going to box room. Uh, I can't see anything. Why? And this is the same way we did it last time. This is it, Randy. Oh, because he has to say goodbye to Randy. Oh, there we go. Oh, you were saying your screen, you can't see anything. Oh, yeah, for a moment. Are you the, the podcast chorus? I know I was Conrad. I remember that much. Okay. But keep slamming, and greatness can be yours. With these words, Muchacho Man enters the world. But can he find his way without losing his soul? Ooh, Bill, you ready to play some pro wrestling politics? I'm excited. <laughs> oh, boy. We turn now to another hero looking at the same fate-fixed stars, contemplating his own path. Oh, is this going to be, um, what's his face? Logan. Yeah. There you go, this is you, remember? You're gonna be Br yep. agreed upon your Brink Logan, brother. Fireworks! That's the... That's the case. Show must be about to start. Well, did we have a Stag Logan before? No. I guess I'll be Stag. Uh, okay, so let's see. Stag Logan, what should he sound like? Um... Oh, 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 okay. Hey! There you are. I should have known you'd be here. You're so predictable. I like to think... I like to think of it as being reliable. Yeah. Speaking of being reliable... Do you think we could go over the script again real quick? You didn't read it, did you? Come on, dude. You know I've been busy with that Hockey 94 tournament. You're such a hoser sometimes, Stag. Next, you're gonna tell me that you didn't practice our walk-on, either. Mm. Come on, we've got a little bit of time to go over it, man. Walk this way, talk this way. I almost became the lead basis for Aerosmith. <laughs> All right, so Stag's gonna be important, so now I gotta remember that voice. Flamingo Fringe Macho Statue. All right, so I'm, I guess I'm him now. All right, let's get out of here. Wait, is he in a totally different place? <gasps> Bill! Now! Now that's what, what I call podcasting! Oh no. Yes, we're gonna <laughs> talk- Oh no, that's a C, that's not an O. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited, I was like, are we gonna talk about Rihanna and uh, Brittany and- Alright, where are they having me going? Oh, I guess this way. I already hate this place because it's all full of snow. Pond fork. Pond fork. Okay. Hey, check it out. They finished the town sign. Alright, hold on. What are you, are you are you out again on your side? No, I can I can see it now. Just right. let's get over to the east side of town in the snow globe. Pond forks right. Oh, okay, that went a bit too quick for me. Is 
Zero percent treasure found. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. What's this guy gonna do? Slapshot Sally. Don't you love these? Don't. I'm just not bothering with NPCs. I'm just giving them my voice. Then you just love these dog sleds. Can I have one? No. I suppose not. I know I'm supposed to go to the east side, folks. I'm just exploring and seeing what's around. Plus, how do you not? How do you not go into a big thing that says welcome? Ooh. Oh, I found 25% of the treasure now. Yay. How come nobody's here? So, Bill, how are things going for you? Oh, things are going good. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? A log cabin. Another snowmobile. The shop, but oh, there you go. Syrup box. I've got more deals than leaves. Take a look. What can we buy? What is why? Well, I, I mean, I'm not going to buy anything because I don't know what I need. Right. I like, uh, can get a basic hand, <laughs> <laughs> an action Worn figure speedos. Right. Oh, the action figure speedos. A hockey helmet. So maybe I could dress up like screaming Norman Smiley. There you go. Or one piece. A knockoff display stand. A bracelet of focus. Oh, Lord. Oh, a slam shake. <gasps> Bill, a script mm -hmm. change. <laughs> With the right storyline, even death is only an inconvenience. Revise a KO'd unit. To... Actually, that's very helpful, but I don't have enough because it's in red. So You're going to save it for me, brother. So that's a helpful place. It's very helpful, dude. Chocolate. I love coming to Pond Fork. The pace is, the pace is so much slower here, especially compared to Omachamachi. Coco Calamity. I've tried to set up <laughs> set up shop over by the snow globe, but that tailgating party is getting out of hand anyways you want some hot chocolate it'll heal you up well i don't i didn't do anything to get hurt so you yeah. look, you look healthy to me feel free to come back for healing anytime i would like to think that that's free if <laughs> i need it all right let's go with east side let's continue the plot Snow math. Going to the snow match? There is a 141 and two third chance of you being entertained tonight. Shh. Wait, who are you? Angry Joe. Oh, I don't. I guess I should sound angry. Did you see that fast count on the match last night? They done refed it up. I wonder how they got Angry Joe. Trent, check out this sick carving I got. It says Wrestling Rules. I got it to cover up the carving I got of my ex-girlfriend's name, Rula. Who is that? <laughs> Woo! Pass me the syrup. I'm ready to get wild. It's wrestling time. Sally Melly! <laughs> Should we be <laughs> drinking syrup around Trent? Isn't that, you know, his blood or something? Maybe we should switch to hot chocolate. I'm a big Heige Boys fan. I came all the way up here to check out their match tonight. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see Brink in action. He's so handsome. Huh? Is it? It is! Oh my gosh, please sign my sunglasses. Bill? Have you ever heard of anyone asking them to sign their sunglasses before? No, I've never <laughs> heard that. All right, let's get into the match. Snow. At the snow globe. Practice style it and profile it during your walk on. Okay, let's hurry before they before they start letting people in. The walk on. It's all about impressing the crowd, dude. 
It's about strutting and flouting your skills, man. Before the actual walk-on, you'll be able to choose various elements, like an intro, music, passive ongoing effects, and an outro, brother. Intermediate options are actions you'll perform while walking down the ramp. Nail a button and press to perform them. Each element of the walk-on can increase your hype for the battle. Let's try it now. All right. Guess we're gonna make an entrance, I guess. Let's see, do we like screen flashing or paparazzi? Here, you pick that one. I uh, I think paparazzi. Okay. Oh, I gotta do this. Okay, then we have outro effects. Fireworks blue or fireworks red? Which do you like better? Mm, I think I think the red goes better. Okay. Oh! Music! The expert of execution, Bill. Hmm. The Spice himself. I feel like we've heard this song in this game already. At some point. Yeah. Rain. Screen shake. Oh, these are just the other effects. Gray smoke. That's stupid. You can't even really see the guy. Spotlight. Yeah, that one's good. Ooh! A spotlight. Is it a control your narrative spotlight? <laughs> Alright, so music, we're gonna go with Expert of Execution. Yeah. Do you wanna do. Is there any other ones that you wanna do here? No, I think I'm good. Oh, that's intermediate. Share throw. Oh, oh they throw gosh. shares. Confetti. Pyrotechnics orange. Pyrotechnics yellow. Alright, do you want anything over here? Um, uh, maybe confetti. Alright, because I mean we can, we can change it, so. Right. Wait, why does this say wall? Oh, because I have to trigger the confetti. Okay, I see. Confirm. Yes. Oops. Okay. Well, there's our All entrance right. for Brink Logan. Right, See? Easy execution. Thanks for the refresher, cause. Pa Logan. Uh, do you have a voice for Pa Logan? Oh, wait, no, that would be... The, well, that would be Brink's father, yeah. so you gotta sound older than what your Brink voice is. Okay. There they are. How are my boys doing? Locked and loaded for tonight, Dad. You guys read the script. Tonight, it's the Honest Bucks... That's us versus the Hygie boys. The Hygies are enjoying a major push as baby faces right now, Dad, bro, dude. We're going to take them out, and then they'll do a reversal out of nowhere at the last minute, brother. So, we gotta lose tonight again? I hope you boys are okay with that. Don't put them over. <laughs> I'll take <laughs> your way to a win. Of course we are, Dad. We're ready to serve North County Wrestling. North Country Wrestling. I'm proud of you boys. The family business couldn't run without you. I mean, if there's anyone that can politic their way out, it should be Brink Logan. It should. Man, how can you be so cool playing the jobber all the time, eh? It's worth it to help out the family and the promotion. Besides... I don't mind losing when it's scripted. When it comes to a real fight, I know I'm the best, brother. We're the best, right, cause? Yeah, exactly.
But we have to follow the script. Huh. Oh, all right, boys. Showtime. Just come on out when you're ready. Oh, I almost forgot. It would be a beauty if you two could take out flares f or flowers first with a one-two punch kind of deal. Sure, I could set him up with wet work and then Stag could finish him off with his antler bomb. Perfect. That'll make Lars even more heroic when he does his comeback. I'll go let the Heige boys know of the update. Finally, some instructions I understand. All right, let's see the Heige boys. Yeah, oh, see, I guess, yeah, they always, I guess they give you the option to change things before every match. Right. Oh, look at me hitting all the right buttons at the right time. <laughs> Anyone that watched the first video knows that I absolutely failed at that most of the time on that one. All right, Lars. Right. I'll be Lars since you you already have your hand full of father and son over there. Uh, all yeah. right, Lars will be. Oh, this is who we have. This is who we have to face tonight. Flores. Uh. You two don't stand a chance against the Hygie Boys. Alright, so we, we got an insult here. We gotta say Hygie Boys, by the looks of you, I thought we changed your name to the Hungry Boys. Or, I recognize that sweater. I saw your mom knitting it this morning after I left. Oh, that that's it. Or, yeah, well, <laughs> you guys certainly look cozy. Alright, this, this one though. We're doing this second. This, boy. Okay. Enough talk, honest bucks. I've got a steamy cup of hot chocolate waiting for me, and I don't want it to get cold. Ja. I should use it. Ja? Okay. That makes me want to change his voice now. Ja. Let's make this a quick one, brother. Dramatic moments. <laughs> Dramatic moments are a special criteria that for the boss battles. We only get special gear after the fight. Many times these are optional, but sometimes they are necessary to complete the match. Slam shake. See, so you got your slam shake. Let me see how, how far we are in this here. Okay, we got about probably 20 minutes to a half hour left on this video. Bill, while I fight these guys, why don't you tell people what. What do you hope, because, you know, the first four or five episodes, we were all pre-recorded at, a, you know, at a very, very previous time. But then, mm -hmm. when, after these first four or five episodes, we're going to have a quick turnaround of, like, two or three days and, you know, maybe talk about current stuff or maybe do special things. Like, right. for when, uh, you know, when I'm fighting and there's not much to say about the game. What kind of stuff do you want to see? Like, do you have any ideas of what maybe people would want? We're going to go with wet work to start off here. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't have anything at the moment that I can think of. Okay. But I guess we'll see as time goes on. Let's do the antler bomb. So, okay, wait, I just realized that. So look on the left side. Yeah. So I guess I, do I have, I guess I have to do those? Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't have the option right now, so let me taunt to hype things up. Cozy Bomb. Ooh. You didn't even give me a chance to block it. Oh my god. Alright, so let's try to find this fatigue thing. I don't know what they're talking about. 
We'll have a fatigue flame. We just strike regularly. Was probably the best hit that I've had so far. Mm -hmm. Damn it, only 200. So usually when we do these battles in the future, we'll probably it's it's hard to do it today, folks. But what's probably going to happen is like Bill will have things to talk about going on in the current wrestling world, and yeah, like it's hard now because we. This is going to be way out of date if we say anything right now. And, and trust me, there's actually a lot going on when we're recording this in the pro, pro wrestling world. Yeah. So, like, it would be, like, so out of context when yeah. you guys listen to it if we talked about Crown Jewel coming up. Right. And you guys would be like, oh, that was three months ago. Right, exactly. But when... But when Here's what we could do. We could tell people what the plan here is. So after the first four or five episodes... Oh, wait. Something's up here. No, why don't they let me do fatigue? Oh, fatigue. Flores is... I'm an idiot. Flores is the guy, not a move. All right, let me try pinning. Hey, not yet. You're supposed to use the antler bomb on me first. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't go by the script. Okay, fine. <laughs> antler bomb. Fine. Fine, flowers. So what we would do is, for example, if we're recording on a Tuesday, what would probably happen is we would try to get this video up and the audio for the eliminated um the, for the eliminated feed we would try to get that up within i would say two to three days after it's recorded mm -hmm. i mean it's gonna yeah. be impossible to have a situation where we're totally up to date especially in i mean 2024 where there's wrestling on every single day except for Sunday on a weekly basis. But we're going to try our best to try to stay updated. It's nothing personal. Let me try this one. Let's see what that is. That was pretty good. The nothing person. Nice, right, so let's try. Can I ping you now? Oh, is it an elimination? I guess so. What's the third thing you have to do? It says attempt to pin on Lars, but let him kick. Oh, I think I guess I messed that up. Unless this is Lars. No, this is Lars. Oh, this Lars is Lars. was the other guy. Okay, we got him. All right, so let's see. Pin. All right, so I gotta let him kick out. Yeah. So I'm not gonna do anything. Give him a one, because that's a kick out if I at least do one. Yeah. Yep, there we go. There we go. But why did it say hype negative 25 now? Well, at least I got my shake over here. Oh, well, here you go. Stay. This is it. Remember to break your fall. Oh my 
this. Lars has done it. What a oh, that's right. We're supposed to lose anyway. What a reversal. The High D boys have won, and we'll continue on to the snow snow slam snow slam mania. Unbelievable. Yeah. Alright, let's give me my freaking shake. <laughs> Power play. Oh, that's a nice acting move there. Oh, he got new two new ones. Power play and jewel smash. Dude, you are awesome as always. So clean, so precise. It's no wonder why they call you the expert of execution. Well, that's great. More, more like but the I can't see the screen. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Ha! Huh. More like the expert of X creation, wouldn't you say, Flores? Ja! Something certainly smelled tonight, and it wasn't my hot chocolate. You mutt lickers sure do have a way of ruining a good mood, don't you? A good mood? Why would losing put you in a good mood? Can you not see it again? Are you there? It's it, it's coming up. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, because Brink's talking now. What's up with your okay. uh, what's up because, with your connection? Oh, here we go. Then? Here we go. Because we did our job, wolf for brains. All that matters is how well we play our parts. Ooh, I don't know. Winning is pretty important, Flowers. Not that you two would know. Good point. Maybe one day we'll be talented enough that someone can hand us a scripted victory, too. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you don't think we could beat you for real? Do you think the girth of our coziness? Anytime the Hygie boys want to shoot, just say the word, and we'll show you what real wrestling is like. Great job in there, you slam junkies. The crowd loved it. This will be our best snow slam mania yet. Wow, you said that way easier than me. Ja, especially when the Heige boys win it all. Come on, Flars. Grank, Stag, you guys never cease to amaze me. You're the backbone of this organization. Maybe even the whole sport. All right, you need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Man, for being the backbone, it sure does feel like we got both. All right, that's enough. Let's go hit the hay. Which is, which in your case, may be literal. Hey, that's a misconception. Moose sleep on leaves. <laughs> This game, okay. <laughs> go home, it's at the top of the town. Okay, there I go. Wait, did I get my thing? I wanna make sure, okay, good, there it is. And I wanna make sure I wasn't cheated out of it. Right. What's this guy? Oh, Angry Joe again. Oh, Angry Joe. Oh, they did the same thing. Shut up, Angry Joe. <laughs> you did say north, right? Yeah. Snowy. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Snowy, really? The Logan House. 25% treasures found. Before I go upstairs, let me see if there's any around here. This is an awfully big place to have nobody in. Oh! Yeah, really? I thought that was something. It's weird, it's like no music or anything. Oh well. 
<laughs> it's walking around. Bill Mickey walking around song right now. I'm walking. Oh yeah, I'm walking. In a really big house, I'm walking. And I do some talking to myself. Very good. Thank you. I am actually surprised there's nothing to do in this house. Well, I mean, you know, Stag's got to hit the leaves. Right. These, those Haiji boys really get to me. Such baby faces in the ring, but they're total jerks out of it. Someday. Someday. So he just lives here by himself in this big place? I just know that if I put my time in, pay my dues, and earn my stripes, greatness will come my way. And when it does, I'll put it in a submission leg lock. Yeah, that's not what Hogan does. That's true. Now I'm starting to wonder I mean, if he's supposed to be Hogan, because who would be Stag? Oh, on him again. Hmm. Okay, so let's go where... Yeah, this is what I thought I was supposed to do. Go to Boxwood. To B-E-Dub. B-E-Dub. <laughs> B-E-Dub. B-E-Dub. Oh, I guess... Doing uh, Logan's was all right. Boxwood, a rough town, but wrestling is popular here. I should find a place to stay while I fight and become the BEW championship title holder. I'm ready. Something spicy is going to happen here. I can just feel it. Boxwood. Again, zero percent. Zero. Look at this. There's a map. Huh. Alright, so we'll explore Boxwood. Oh. I thought I was just going to be a little. Todd! <laughs> Help! Our robbery! Our robbery! <laughs> God. Shut up. Shut him up. Take his lips. Come on, man. I just got these parts. <laughs> <laughs> hey! You better leave him alone, or muchacho man's gonna show you what happens to two bit thugs and miscreants. Oh, see! Wow, a tough guy, eh? Yeah? How did a guy wearing a flanky get so tough? <laughs> that's, wait, that's the wrong voice, too, by the way, I think. This isn't a blanket, it's. Here, you be Troy, stop doing everyone else in this freaking Does it? Doesn't matter. We'll use it as you as your body bag in a moment. Get him. Oh look, we magically transported to a wrestling ring, apparently. <laughs> eh. Alright, gimmicks, south of the border stunner on spring. No, don't hurt me! South of the board slam to your friend, I guess, too. Well, wow, Rick Logan definitely has more things on his attack than this guy does. Mm -hmm. We win. That was easy. Let's beat it! 
Better enjoy that blanket while you can, tough guy. It's not a blanket. Are you okay? I already forgot my top voice. Um, oh, I think it was just me in high pitch. Yeah. Mi what is that? Mansus? Mansus? I was about, just about to bust those soft plastic knockoffs. I don't need any help. Oh, I saved you. Well, you muchacho man, you would have been mashed. Look, tough guy. We don't need saving around here, comprende? We can take care of ourselves. Wow. What a very wow. thankless person. Hey, you want to be Barbe? Sure. So, what you supposed to be? Some kind of wannabe hero? What? I'm the toughest. I'm the savagest. I'm the... Listen, you seem new around here. So let me give you some advice. Keep your dumb cape and stupid shades out of other people's business. I was just trying to help. Are you Elizabeth? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting late. I can find a place to bed down for the night. But I don't know if I trust any hotels around here. It's okay. Nobody said the road to pro wrestling glory would be comfortable. I bet I could find a nice spot if I check that sign. What? What sign? Hmm? And who's this asshole over here? <laughs> is Play Stan Gain? Oh, God. BW Wrestling is tough, just like our town. Why are you walking around with no shirt on? The path is blocked like crazed and unwashed fans on the entrance ramp. Better come back later, amigo. Alright, you're gonna put an invisible wolf on there, I see. Brick house! <gasps> Brick house! She's a brick house. <laughs> I don't remember the rest of the words. Oh, great. Another wrestler wannabe. Beat it. What? Oh, so rude. Excuse me. <laughs> Here, why don't you be Wing Knight? Give him a voice. Okay. I'm working on my rhymes. What can I do with clockwork? Hmm. We're like Cockworth, right? Exactly. I'll do this one. Backbreaker Boneyard, the junkyard is east of town. Don't go there though. That's Hubcap Gang territory. Let's go to car. What do I need a car for in this game? We'll explore for another five minutes and then we'll call it a video. All right. Where we will inevitably forget most of these voices we did, except for a few. Mm hmm. There's a lot of, um, what is it, crows or ravens that are flying around here. You think he there's a parody of him in this game? Right, maybe. Wait, wait, oops, I didn't want to do that. Be like, what about me? What about Crow? <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Crow Sting. Mm-hmm. Pepperoni rolls are almost done. The neighborhood kids need them for strength so they can practice their super kicks. Super kick party? Maybe. I would like to be part of a super kick party, but not the one that gets the super kicks. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Now let's go in here. Is this a potato head? <laughs> oh, it's Marcus. I, uh, I don't know. I love Lethal Wedding. This game is sick. Thanks, Marcus. Lethal Wedding. Rubber, you want me? Rubber Ducky. <laughs> no, I'd be Rubber Ducky. Wrestler, 
Wrestle raiders roam the deserts to the north. They worship the road warriors, scouring the sands of face paint. Thank you, Rubber Ducky. All right. What's the Rubber Ducky song again? Yeah. Rubber Ducky. Rubber Ducky, you're, you're the, the one. one. Yes. You make bad time lots of fun. <gasps> Fight. Can I get a coupon code? <laughs> that would be amazing. They're like, here's a legit coupon code for your next independent yeah, wrestling. Yeah, right. Ooh. Yes. Trashy butler. Strong like Andy. Time to break out the soldering gun. I got to do some home repairs on my good leg. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thanks. You no, know, it doesn't even matter because I stole your your shit. So, I oh, I want to go into fight so bad right now. Does it let me? It doesn't look like it. That's too bad. All right, let's go north. Or not. Or not. Where the hell am I supposed? To, where's that map? There is no north. What is this guy talking about? Hmm. Where have we not been yet on this map? You haven't been to the school. Where's that? That's like... Oh, up, up and to the right. All right, let's try that. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh-huh. I bet a bench in that park will be just as nice as the floor back in the training gym. Let's crash on the bench. So I guess I have to look at the map again. Uh-oh. I knew you'd be using that blanket tonight, tough guy. Too bad it isn't bulletproof, though. This Is this the lobster bib guy? This is the last time I'm going to see this. Yes, it is. Get him, boys. What the hell? <laughs> toy box. All right, I'm definitely doing toy box Jimmy. I mean, he looks like he looks like he'd have some kind of voice like this. This dude, the <laughs> one in the skirt, sorry. Yeah, you be taught just so, because I'm doing. Is that what daddy is? Finally. What did I tell you about coming onto my turf, Chuck King? We ain't got beef with you, Toy Box. We're after this out of towner. Really? Earlier today, you were here after my little cousin. Cousin? I gotta say, I don't see the family resemblance. Family is a funny thing, boss. Ask your sister what I mean. Oh! oh. <laughs> you just jimmied your last joke, Jimmy. Combat tutorial tip. We don't take team battle. I don't need to know this. Trying to have to fight alone. Use powerful. Oh, I guess they're gonna teach me about tag team gimmicks in this. Let's see. What do we got? Maybe Muchacha has a freaking different attack other than the stunner thing. Oh, we do. Prepare for tag team. Five finger discount and chop up. Let's chop up. Remember, prepare. Okay, fine. I guess I'll do prepare for tag team. Choose a tag team gimmick. Lunchbox Jimmy, here we go. Yeah, you don't have much of a choice, no, really. No, it's not. I missed. Did he throw a taco at you? <laughs> oh, God. Owie. Owie. Oh, Toybox Jimmy's getting rocked right now. Try this again. Yeah. 
I'll say this, that that's a good attack because it hits all of them instead of one at a time. Exactly. Let's do it one more time. Jim's about to die. He looks rough right now. Look at him. Look at his animation. Yeah. Oh, I know. I don't know why I can't do it. I don't think I have enough. Toy Box Jimmy's dead. Owie. Oh, I've never been in this position before where one of my people died. Time to stop messing around. Strike. You're down. Dead. One remains. I am going to choose not to revive Toy Box Chip. I'm going to take this guy down myself. Jimmy, you weren't great at all. <laughs> I feel like you would even deserve to be getting level up points here. Right? Ooh, the Grande Splash. Thanks, guys. The Chacho Man owes you up big time. Consider us even. My little cousin here says you saved his skin earlier. Sorry for how I acted before. Jimmy says we need to take care of our own. Cousins? Hey, in Boxwood, we don't have friends, only family. So don't worry about appearances. Well, in that case, you got a couch a brother can crash on. Haha! <laughs> My means is. You can sleep in style tonight. Follow me. Do you see the thing on the <laughs> bottom right? It says Hall of Fame, it looks like. Yeah. I was I looking just saw at that. that. I was looking at that the whole time. I don't know what that's about. But we'll probably find out in the next one. Oh my god, why is there a dinosaur in here? Hey man, do you always sleep this heavy after a fight? You better invest in pillows then, if you're gonna stay in Foxwood. No, Essay, I was just enjoying the softness of these plastic sheets. You must not have been expecting company. Yeah, sorry about that. The boys get a little greasy here. Can't have them staining the cushions, you know. But at least you have your own blanket. Psych! I know it's not a blanket! Anyways, I'm glad you're awake. Now, we can get going. Going? Where? Around town. Holmes, look. Last thing I want is for you to get it on another gang's bed side. You understand? Life in the box. Oh yeah, I get to do this voice for the entire playthrough. Oh god. <laughs> it's mini Joe Pesci. <laughs> yeah, wise guy. This here is the uh, market district. You got your guns and your. When are we gonna use a gun? <laughs> you got your guns and your groceries. Everything you need to survive in the box. To the north is the school, and to the south are some homes in the local gym. To the west is the hospital. Head there if you 
Need some healing. Duh. You can always buy some tape too. <laughs> oh no! Some... Uh, my own broke. Good thing I have this tape here. Yeah, really. If you exit to town and go to the east, you'll hit the backbreaker boneyard. Best stay away from there, though, Holmes. And boy, is that hombre. That junkyard is the Hubcap Gang's turf. Those thugs you met last night they have an uneasy alliance. No beef as long as they don't mess with my shop or my crew. Speaking of which, let's see if we can get you hooked up with something that packs a bit more punch. <gasps> Am I really gonna get a gun? <laughs> oh, Lord. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Yeah, be bobble trigger. All right. Welcome to Refuel Info. Your one stop for that which keeps you going. Bullets and gas. Hey there, TBJ. Who's the stranger? If here's Muchacho Man, a real tough guy. He always threw down... He already threw down with the Hubcap Gang. Wow. I mean, you must have really been wowed if it took you that long to say that. We came here to get him <laughs> outfitted with something more powerful. That's a cinch. I've got all kinds of stuff to keep you locked and loaded. Alright, so it's just a store. Why am I forced being forced here? Karate Chopper! I mean, I do have 2,441 money. So yeah. I could... I, I'm gonna obviously do this off recording. I'm gonna look and see what, uh, you know, what I think I will need and what I will definitely use. Mm-hmm. Okay, but I don't think I have to buy anything right now. So you were some kind of stuntman in your old town? Stuntman? No stunts here, Capanero. I'm a hundred percent all wrestler! Wrestling? My man, you're in the right place. I'm a big time fan of wrestling. Amigo Boxwood would explode if I entered the ring. This town can't hold me. This dimension can't even hold me, Jimmy. I'm going to be the greatest wrestler of all time. Oh, you may have arrived in town at just the right moment. Are you talking about the Paul Dark match? Because comparatively speaking, everything else is just a cup of coffee. I knew the local wrestling organization, BEW, was going to make sure that their best wrestler ends up in the match. I must therefore become their best wrestler. Oh, see. Hold up a second. Why don't you get a little taste of the local color before you bite off more than you can chew? Speak plainly, Jimmy. No riddles. Just give it to the muchacho man straight. Come on. There's always some amateurs looking to slam at the gym. You can cut your teeth on them. Go slam it with some amateurs. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I'm controlling again. It's gonna go outside, and I think this is going to be the end of the video unless someone starts talking. No, so we're good. It's Crow! The, yeah, technically, <laughs> the Crow's talking, I guess. All right, everyone, thanks for uh, joining us, and we'll catch you next time for some more WrestleQuest. Bye.